Hello and welcome to Infinity. In a previous video I showed the colour dodge method of doing a kind of sketch effect you can also use for sharpening. I'm going to do the kind of reverse of that now. First of all, we very quickly, quickly recreate the colour dodge effect. So I just go to the background here, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to go to the adjustments and to HSL and drag that onto the image there so it's a child and then turn down the saturation to desaturate it. I can open that up show you there. Doing this by the way I the method I'm using I've got adding adjustment layer here as a new layer and also a filter because I generally prefer to do, use that. Clicking on the background up here again now I simply add a, an adjustment of invert and then I use a light filter of blur, Gaussian blur, and turn up the blur here. And to avoid that edge effect there, I do preserve alpha. And then I shift click to adjust, grab those two. And I can right click on here to do group or hit control G. And then that group, change the blend mode there magically to color dodge. And now I've got this kind of sketch effect. So look at what's happening here. We'll zoom into this bit here. And I'm going to turn this top layer off. I'm going to take that. I'm going to shift click this so I can control G to group it all up together again. So I can call this one the color dodge one. So I can just turn it off with one click now. And what you see here is that you get the dark in areas and when you've got a light to dark transition and the darker side has got added dark to it so that if we want to do a sharpening effect we go to multiply and then you've got before and after and that kind of sharpening effect. So what I'm going to do is kind of reverse of this. So I'm going to take this and hit Control J to duplicate it. To avoid confusion for now, I'm going to turn off the two layers underneath and open this up here. So we've got the original picture desaturated here with an invert and blur and the group now up here. I'm going to change the color dodge simply to color burn, which is above it. And now we've got the kind of reverse effect. So in other words, rather than, let's just put the original back on again for now. So rather than have a, a light side here and they, it stays light and the dark side, it goes darker. This does the reverse of this. So it goes, the, the dark side stays dark and you've got a lot of lightness over here. So it's kind of inverted. I will change the name of this, by the way, to color burn. That's the color burn layer. So I close this up, for example, I've got color burn here and color dodge here. And what I can do with this is if I've got this one underneath here, I've got the color dodge darkening that side and a sharpen will lighten the light side as well. And so what I can do with this is I can turn this on here and change the blend mode to screen. And now if I turn this off and on, you can see it's lightening the light side and then the color dodge is darkening the dark side. So if I go control zero out here and select those two together on and off, you can see the effect there. Let's zoom in a bit more so you can see the sharpening effect. But now you've got control over both the light side and the dark side. You've got to be careful with this, by the way, because you can also get against the sky a halo effect. So you see that lightening up there, so you might want to not overdo the, the the blur on this or have an effect, do something masking, for example, at the edges. There's another effect of what we're going to get as well. And so I'm going to turn the bottom two off here, just go to the top one. And what we see here is this is all where we've got the selective. We could put the, that in invert above there to 
show that. So I could put in an adjustment invert up there to make it go to black and white. But you notice here some of this stands out quite a lot. Look at this and you know, taking off the invert you can see it here in white. So why is this so standoutish as opposed to the rest of things here? And the way to do this is simply if I turn the whole thing off and turn on the original background layer, it's this window here. If I pull the pipette down here over this you can see red, green and blue is they're all saturated so we've got pure white on this. In other words it's effectively blown out in this particular image. Most images it won't do that. So that when you put this back on again here and I just turn off the bottom layer so you can see it like this it comes out this rather bright thing and there's a fix for this and the fix is go back to the HSL and turn down the luminosity and you do that you see it doesn't change the everything else too much but it brings this back down to a kind of sensible level so that now if I turn on the bottom layer here again it's not going to have uh, much of an effect there you can also say use this for edge playing with edges where you want to get lines on the this the light side as opposed to the color dodge dark side but working together with a color dodge you've got separate control now of the color burn and the color dodge side so in other words whether you lighten the light side or darken the dark side anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching